When we do measurements in experiments, those measurements have dimensions and they require units. Dimensions give the quantity, such as we've listed here, length, mass, time, electric current, and the units give the scale. In SI, the base unit of length is the meter. The base unit of mass is the kilogram. The base unit of time is the second. And the base unit of electric current is the ampere, and so on. There are others, but these are the main ones that we'll meet in a first year high school physics class. Derived units result when base units are combined by multiplication or division. For example, the unit for area is a derived unit. It's the result of multiplying length times another length. So that unit in SI might be meters squared. Density is mass divided by volume. So a derived unit for density might be kilograms per cubic meter. For volume, of course, cubic meters. The derived unit for momentum, which we'll meet later on if you continue following these lessons, is the kilogram meter per second. And you can see that all of these derived units are built up of base units that we mentioned on the previous slide. Some derived quantities we'll meet later on are the derived quantities for force, for energy, for power, for sound intensity. So there are many, many different units, only a handful of base units, but many, many derived units.